This video is in collaboration with Simply Learn, a global leader in digital upskilling, enabling learners across the globe with access to world-class training to individuals in business worldwide. Learn more about Simply Learn's cybersecurity programs in a few moments. Whatever happened to my 5 a.m. routine? Ugh. Let's talk about productivity in cybersecurities and some strategies that I'm attempting to implement into my routine in 2025. 2024 was a bit messy for me personally. I moved, I started a new chapter in my life, and really I was in a productivity rut, constantly switching back and forth between my YouTube stuff, my nine to five job, and of course my personal study. Now, fast forward to this year, already about a month and a half in, and I'm still waking up at 11 a.m. So here's a few strategies that I'm attempting to implement into my routine. These are things that I've done in the past, which have helped me gain momentum into building a more consistent study routine, as well as just having balance in life. Sketching out career-based goals in 2025, one of the things that I recognized was my lack of clarity. Where I'm at, where do I wanna go, and how do I get there? Where are some paths I can do to get there? My schedule was often left up to the arbitrary. What I like to say is arbitrary actions lead to arbitrary outcomes. Scheduling, as obvious as it sounds, can lead to greater clarity with building momentum into your routine. To implement a schedule, what I have done is I've itemized my objectives into yearly, monthly, and then weekly to-do list, basically. I've sketched my overall career-based goals for the entire year and breaking them down into two halves, as I recognize sketching out a whole year can be a little bit less adaptable. Now, for the first half of the year, I have my learning goals, and specifically this is detections engineering, as well as all of my other goals, such as project security, this YouTube channel, and well, life goals as well. Each month, I have a topic breakdown of my overall high-level goals, personal study, YouTube, project security. Every Sunday, I provision a to-do list with my weekly creative goals and schedule based off of my days and you know, getting to that overall goal. Now, I use a tool called Kanban Flow to help me build out my objectives, my to-do lists, and to track my overall progress. So I think a common situation for all of us while we're in the flow of maybe some personal study, well, we lead to interruptions. There's a new idea in my head, a text message, a random thought that needs to get done. Well, this interrupts my flow and, and can often lead to fragmented output. And so one way I try to build measurable progress into my learning process is through tracking productive output. And to do this, I use the Pomodoro technique. I've used this in the past to track my focused based time. Pomodoro or Pomodori are a segmented block of time dedicated to focus, to a task. Now, the standard Pomodori technique is 30 minute blocks, 25 minutes of focus time, five minute break. And you can track basically your overall productive output based off of you know the number of Pomodoro or Pomodori you wanna do per day. So this year I'm attempting to block out four Pomodoro, um, basically two hours a day of dedicated personal study focused time. And this could be dedicated to you know whether it's a personal project, creative output like you're seeing here, or perhaps uh, something on project security. Um, and I want to do this the first thing in the morning as I know that I'll be the sharpest for me personally. So building a block of dedicated time and focus and tracking them through Pomodoro is one way that I'm attempting to build momentum into this routine. We encounter a lot of information in our lives and often this information is gonna be forgotten. Documentation uh, acts as a reference point to help you recall facts, concepts and really build a cohesive list of information for yourself. So related to security, when I encounter a concept, a term, a technology on a meeting or you know just reading the security news, I have a dedicated notebook for defining those key terms, those concepts and information. This helps serve as a reference point for you know looking at a definition recited in my own words so that when I read it back at it again, I kind of understand it because I can you know just understand my writing style. I use Joplin, which is an open source notebook tool. It's simple, which is exactly what I need for my documentation space. It supports Markdown. You can upload it to various different cloud services and it's customizable. There are plenty of notebook applications out there, but I do recommend that you start out a notebook as it helps you build out some documentation as well as track your overall career-based goals. Your lifestyle impacts your outcomes. I think the key here, the word is balance. You don't wanna be fragmented as I have been in this past year, year and a half, but you also don't wanna have or experience excessive levels of 
burnout or you just want to you know not do anything basically the key to a consistent learning journey is a balance between the two and so i've tried to incorporate various different elements still working on these such as good sleeping habits exercise and dedicated downtime your sleeping habits keeping a consistent routine a schedule that means not waking up at 11 a.m on the weekends which is what i do and instead uh staying on a consistent bed and you know morning time schedule that's important exercise so maintaining an active lifestyle outside of just literally sitting down at the desk all day as you know that's basically what you do in security and downtime whether it's you know what you enjoy doing outside security could be you know watching shows reading books or even nagging your spouse really just having dedicated downtime is important this video is not a inherently a technical or a cyber security based video but as this channel is revolves around that. These are some productivity tips I'm attempting to implement, and hopefully I've shed a light maybe on one or two tips that you can help jumpstart your own routine into. So until the next time, have a good day, and hopefully I'm actually implementing these, you know, trying to stay accountable here. See you then.